I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could... That was quite something. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. 
Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Step. 
Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts come. and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where. I came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. So, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself. I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. <laughs> Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home.
that enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Just a moment. <laughs> This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. Like the glue we saw on the porky container. 
I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there. Last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Now stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Revelio. something up ahead what is it that glow again but on the floor Lumos. what happened when I moved towards the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir I'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection is still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos.
Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glowing. <laughs> Lumos! Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Lumos. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder...
Follow my lead. in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It 
It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw! Oh, 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. moment one moment watch this Ugh. what is this someone threw a dumb box <coughs> <coughs> let's get out of here that wasn't quite the reaction i wanted oh well right what did you hope would happen i suppose i hoped it would lighten the mood Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. 
great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in... It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you, and good luck to you too on your first day. Rebellion. All right. Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh... Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. She would best not keep her waiting. Rebellion. Can't imagine starting a school this late. Rebellion.
morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when... After much discussion with that... Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. <sighs> no time to waste. You've classes to attend. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall.
And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor... He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is. Hmm. Almost pre Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ear. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with us. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both, and we'll see if we can't get you to... It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping... Uh, did I hear you masterfully evade? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more, and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster. Understood, Professor. Good. Now. As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally... Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle... Why don't I show you the clever enchant... Unfold it and have a look.
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with club. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an ex... I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Rebellion. Professor Weasley is easily my favorite. Her wand work is exquisite. The most this cannot possibly... Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos! Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Revelio!
The best way to learn how to fly a broomstick is by trial and error. Rebellion. Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger.
Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised Well done. Well done. Levioso. Well done. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, Protego. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Revelio. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. 
If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Revelio. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sabat didn't expect a new student. Then again, perhaps this wasn't... I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You, you know, you might be a perfect fit. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time, whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into... You just have to be clever enough. Thank you, Sebastian. Oh, good. Pleasure. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Till next time. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Come now, Annabel. What are you up to now? Professor Rebellion. wants to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. 
My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them Accio. Very good. Happens to the best of us. That's it. Your composure. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly Miss Onai. Would you care to give on? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. There we go. Not to worry. What's this? for that.
Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. What's up? There we go. Exactly your typical lesson is very good. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. Took me weeks to become proficient. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I... That's good to hear. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new... Is Wagadu much bigger than... <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in... But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming. Is Wagadu a castle, like... Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly... And then it just materialized before me, this enormous... This may seem an odd question, but... Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. You can cast spells. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinct. I must admit, however, that I am good. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do, Miss Wagger. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him with Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. A word if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first... Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exact... What charm is there in the ex... You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I... Miss Onai is always a fierce... Com <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment. Rebellion.
Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Revelio. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to... I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold... <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> my... Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't... Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1776. And by the end of this, the Minister of the Magistrates... Oh, what fun! Oh, they might have bought. Revelio. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. Revelio. I couldn't agree more. Revelio, Levioso, Lumos. Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio. Got you! <laughs> Can't catch 
Lumos. Lumos. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first class is well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professor's hack. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite... I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed? He continues to be reticent about the details. That's correct, Professor. I see. That toy. Regardless, you must continue to... In that regard, I've asked your Professor... Professor Ronan did men... In fact, Professor Ronan will meet... Now! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your... Thank you, Professor. And you've managed your class... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a club. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Nat... I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of us. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor... Rookwood. A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow. If you Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend, no time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the Revelio. I've always... 
always said that travel broadens the mind. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a bro... Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, a number of your professors have agreed to do so as well. But first, I have arranged some for today. See them through, and then... I'll start on the task right away. Revelio. This is the right guy. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. the other students want more. That's kind of you. I wanted to make some new friends, and so my gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Gobstones? That's what I tried to tell. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed or Imelda is one of the worst losers. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstone. Rather an overreact. I'll say. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic. Let us give the old mending... Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and... Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the way. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Revelio.
Let's meet as the only ghoul wizarding village I've heard. It's a relief oh. to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept... Not at all. Professor Weasley, you must be eager to have your own things again. And... I've been looking forward. Good. Shall we set off? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I don't find Rebellion. How nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Great mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it a... When your mother was... that you take it. Meat is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, <laughs> but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. <laughs> oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Uh. 
from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something started them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you find yourself? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. <laughs> there is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every week. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need to meat. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion. A new wand. Of course, you will in. You should be able to collect everything you need. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Never trust the man who looks.